Oh, to be young, gifted, and black. If you stroll around any hood in the USA, hidden behind some of the sneakers hanging from the wire, black tops, and trap music, are inventors, creators, and designers just waiting to be seen, heard, and discovered. All my life, Welcome to Bet on Black, a series brought to you by Target. As the founder and CEO of Sunday to Sunday, I know how hard it is to grind it out. But through hard work and dedication, I've found success and have made it a priority to help others. We're gonna meet with some young and gifted entrepreneurs to give them a chance to win $200,000. What's up fam? Welcome to another episode of Bet on Black. Let me just take a moment to remind everybody what this is. Our good friends at Target have teamed up with our Revolt fam for the opportunity of a lifetime. Last week, we met with 25 amazing entrepreneurs. Hello, hello. My name is Jamaica Thomas. I am one half of Black Girls Greenhouse. My name is Pamela Booker. I am the CEO of Coils by Nature. We are a lifestyle mobile application that allows people to research locations based off of their accessibility. I'm the shoe doctor. We're a rental car marketplace for gig workers based in Atlanta. I have Steph. No, bring it on over. Come on. After myself and mentor and coach Pernell Cesar heard their pitches, we narrowed the field of 25 to your top 12. Now let me tell you, this was not easy. But tonight, you will meet three of the 12 entrepreneurs. Although everyone will walk away with some funding for their business, only one will move on with a chance at $200,000. So now, let's meet the folks they'll have to see first. He's a multi-platinum recording artist with six Grammys to his name. He's the CEO of Nappy Boy Entertainment. Give it up, y'all, for the man, the myth, the legend. T-Pain. This dude, me the hell out. <laughs> As if T-Pain wasn't enough heat for y'all, our next judge is a primetime Creative Arts Emmy Award winner. She's a stylist and a costume designer. She's also the CEO of Black Owned Everything. Please welcome Zarina Akers to the show. Ow! Our next judge is a senior leader for one of the largest and most loved companies in the country, Target, or as we call it, Target. She's helping transform the retail industry and bringing new faces to the table. Please welcome Melanie Gatewood Hall. And folks, let's not forget my man who will continue to be the mentor and coach of all our entrepreneurs. Co-founder and CEO of Black and Bold Specialty Beverages, Pernell Cesar. All right, now that we've met the Bet on Black fam, let's get to it. Today we'll meet three entrepreneurs ready to pitch their idea to our very accomplished panel of judges, but no one is leaving empty-handed. Tonight's third place finisher will receive $5,000. Second place is 10 grand. First place is $20,000. And you're gonna move on for a chance at $200,000 in the finale, y'all. Woo! Stack, T-Pain stack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, listen, it's not a game up in here. It's time to get to it. Austin, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Good, dude, welcome to the show, man. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Likewise. Yeah, come on, have a seat, man. I'm Austin Webster. I'm the founder and CEO of Deeper. Deeper is a product suite that's reimagining music data for creators, consumers, and content providers. I'm excited to be a part of the top 12 contestants. I think this is a wonderful opportunity to share our vision and our story. I think what's really important when you have something that's technical is to make sure you don't get too far in the weeds. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Otherwise, dude, just enjoy the process. <laughs> right. No one knows your business better than you do. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Very helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Competing for $200,000 is just fantastic. It is nerve wracking, but as you get used to it, this is just fun. I mean, I love talking about our business and what we're doing, so I'm all excited about this. Hey everyone, how you doing? Hi, I'm right, right. Hello. I'm Austin Webster. I'm the founder and CEO of Deeper. Deeper is a product suite that's reimagining music data for creators, consumers, and content providers. I'm a huge music fan. I've been passionate about music since I was five years old and I first heard Kumo D's I Go To Work on the radio. I love going to the local record store, looking at the Source magazine, seeing who were the producers that were featured because that helped me inform my music discovery. Now, technology has innovated music discovery in a new way, and that's deeper. 58% of music listeners are music discoverers, meaning they're not just passive listeners. So what's the problem? 
The creators behind the music, the songwriters, producers, engineers, they're not being seen. The current streaming landscape really promotes artists first, and everyone behind the scenes kind of gets lost at the wayside. So the solution is Deeper. Deeper is Shazam meets IMDb. We have audio recognition capabilities just like Shazam, but we take you behind the scenes. We show you the creators, the producers, the songwriters, the engineers, the samples, and you can mix and match that information to make new playlists. Man. That's what we're doing right now. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how Deeper works. You sync your streaming service to the app, you tap the helmet, you're able to recognize a song. We'll show you everything we can, samples, engineers. So T-Pain, say I wanna see all the songs that you wrote with DJ Monte. If it's a thousand songs, if it's five songs, we'll pull it in front of you in seconds. Thousand. That, you can, <laughs> that you can press play and then you got it right there. It's all about music discovery. I obviously appreciate this a lot. It's incredible what you're doing, man. Thank I love you. it. I, I, I have nothing but praise for you. Well, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have a question. Okay. Um, do you have a social component, like a forum where people can connect as well? Because there's so many people that want to be in the music industry. As long as you're on Spotify or Apple Music or the, the, the title, we're able to pull that information and pull it in a deeper app. It's like a LinkedIn. But can they communicate with each other? You can chat in the app. Uh, if I was going through on Deeper and, you know, looking up who played the keys on this, this is crazy. Is there a way I can get in contact with that person? Because that would be amazing. <laughs> we, we, we have talked about that. That's something that we're working on internally. Awesome. Perfect. That's All a right. great question. Austin, I love this concept. Thank you. I think it's really cool, and I think it's the right time for something like this. Tell me more about how you intend to grow your business on the B2B side, since that's where you're making your money right now. Yes, good question. We took the best of what the Deeper app was, and we innovated what we call our Deeper widget. That's our B2B model. That's how we generate revenue. We license this technology to content providers, brands, and businesses. Uncovering those kind of insights for the consumers is something that we're really excited about that we can charge a service model for. How many users do you have on the platform now? So we're a little under 10,000 users on the app. We have one customer right now on the Deeper Widget platform. We really feel good about next year. I'm gonna talk to him regardless of what happened on the show. Yeah, no, this is cool. He's going, he going deeper for real. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah go ahead, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Nah, this is a dope product, man. I really love what you're doing. This is dope. Thank good you, Austin. You, brother. Appreciate you. We appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. When we return, we'll meet another entrepreneur. But don't forget to hit us up at Revolt TV and let us know what you think so far. Would you invest in Austin Webster, or is it a nah for you? We'll be right back with more Bet on Black. Hot off the press of Oprah's favorite things of 2021 and fresh on the shelves at Target is Minted Cosmetics, a vegan cosmetics brand designed for all skin tones. Co-founded by CEO KJ Miller. KJ Miller is the 15th black woman ever to raise one million in venture capital. Now that's a real flex. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Bet on Black. I'm that dude, Keenan Beasley. Before the break, we met Austin Webster and he brought that heat. So let's keep the fire going with our next entrepreneur. What's up, ladies? Good to hey. see y'all again. Good, Good to, to see, see you. you too. Yeah. Y'all excited? Y'all ready? We are very excited. I'm Shantae Frazier. I'm Ari Warren, and we are the founders of WellCapped. WellCapped is a rental subscription company that allows our members to rent a wig for one month for one price. We are extremely excited to be a part of the top 12. It's just another opportunity for people to learn about our business and learn about us. There's a, there's a lot on the line in the sense of a $200,000 bag. So make sure that you, you focus on educating them what you have to offer. What advice do you have for us? Last minute advice going in there. One, if you all know how you're going to split the conversation is going to be important, especially for certain questions, uh, because they definitely will ask questions. That's what you're here for. Amen. I know that's right. <laughs> awesome. We're super excited, but we're also a little bit nervous because we do know that there's some she phenomenal. Is we are a lot of bit nervous. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Talk out for us. 
Hi, my name is Ari. And this is Shantae, and we are Wellcapped, a beauty tech company. Wellcapped allows you to change your hairstyle every month for one low monthly fee. Um, women have been able... Oh. <laughs> you got it, girl. You got it. You good. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. You're walking in with it now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> women have been able to coordinate their hair with their outfits. Oh no, can we start all over or just this slide? Good Lord, man. <laughs> Do you want to restart? You totally can. Okay, I got this. I got, I got it. it. Yeah. yeah. Women on average are paying $1,800 a year for just three wigs. But we have the ultimate solution. Well capped. Well capped allows you to rent one wig each month for just $100. Okay, should I demo? What's, what's happening here? Right now she's putting in a date and then this allows us on the back end to take it out of okay. stock. Yeah, this is how easy it is Close to rent. process. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> we are very excited for this and we thank you for your time and we hope that you'll join us as we disrupt the market to become the first wig rental subscription company in the market. Ah, boy. Um, <laughs> I didn't know the process was that crazy. I didn't know the price range of wigs. Like I'm the only one up here with a wig. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. You never okay. got, no, it's not a wig. This, this is me. That's this is all me. That got too deep. Is the plan to have like sort of a mobile stylist, like who's going to put it on? We will have that consumer education on site so that you could put it on yourself. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. I think that'll be a great idea. Another idea we've been entertaining is tiered pricing, where the people who want the $100 a month for their one wig can try that out, but then the people who are like, hey girl, I need two, three of those, right. we'll yeah. have an extra level that's, at a higher price I point I actually like them. that idea better. How big do you think this can get? Give us some, some big picture thoughts of where you guys are headed. So right now it's a $6 billion market. But in Atlanta alone, which is where well capped is headquartered, 20% of our market lives there, right? Wow. So if we just tap into 20% of that, I could do the math here, that's $120 million. Wow. Shantae, I don't know if there is a hesitation to speak, but we really want to hear what you have to say because you're going to be the one to sell this business. Because when you opened your mouth, like everything started to click for me, you know? Okay. That's, That's fair. fair. Well, thank you guys so much. I mean, well, Cap, I know I've learned a lot, and I think I've realized that T-Pain knows way more about wigs and hair than I do. I don't. I just, <laughs> but, know, I just know people like to mess up stuff that ain't theirs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cap, well, thank you guys so much, man. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, I'll be good. Thank you. They're business people. They're not in the beauty industry. Like. Yeah, That's why it's gonna work. That's why I'm trying to get at it. Ladies, welcome back. How'd it go? How do you think it went? Well, we walked in there and we were like, oh my gosh, cheap <laughs> me. No. <laughs> no, let the nerves get to you a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Overall, great job y'all got through this. It's in the judges' hands now, but congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate no it. We are taking another break, but we're gonna meet another entrepreneur when we return. Stick around for more of Bet on Black. Welcome back to Bet on Black. Y'all have said this before and I'm gonna say it again. There's a lot of talent in the community that's getting overlooked. So without further ado, let's meet our final entrepreneur of the night. Man, what's up, man? What's up, what's up, what's up, boss, good man? Good, good. I'm glad to be back here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank Come you. Come on, man. My name is Kenneth Taylor. I'm the owner of the Shoe Doctor Sneaker Laundry, where we specialize in deep cleaning kicks, designer shoes, and boots. The shoe repair business is slowly dying, but I'm bringing the culture back because our culture started shoe cleaning. 
Getting ready to hit that stage, show them what you're about, man. <sighs> man How you I, feeling? I just want to tell my story. Yeah. So don't let the lights distract you. You're a celebrity for the day, yeah, that's right? Yeah, I'm, right? I'm feeling real, real celebrity today. Yeah, exactly. I got my makeup going and exactly. everything. I employ my whole family, so right now, as I'm standing here, my family is at home depending on me to expand this business and have longevity in our family. Show them who you are, right? But don't forget to focus on the business. Introduce them to the business and the proposition, but then add more color by way of the journey that you had, man. So they're gonna be waiting for I'm you. I'm fired up, man. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, boss, man. I'll be here waiting for you. All right, man. The shoe doctor is gonna be the next biggest thing because it has never been a shoe cleaning franchise business ever. What franchise is taking care of these customers that's putting their money out as an investment? It's the shoe doctor. Welcome back, man. It's good to see you good again, to brother. See you again, definitely, man. definitely, I man. Made it. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> You're doing it now, you know. All right, that's a lot of hard work and dedication, right? That's, here. that's what I'm talking about. Let them shine. A lot of shoes clean. That's it. Right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you got it. Well, the floor is yours. Man, well, my name is Kenneth Taylor. I'm the owner of the Shoe Doctor Sneaker Laundry, where we specialize in deep cleaning kicks. I started this business nine years ago out the trunk of my car. Because growing up, I was a sneakerhead. I had over 100 pairs of Jordans in my basement. Take them to the local shoe repair company. They told me that they do not service gym shoes. Now, I know there's a lot of people like me out here. I just stood in line for 12 years with people, hundreds of people that's waiting for these shoes, and there's nobody in my city that clean them. So I said, I'll be that person that clean them, you know? So now I have three locations. I have two in Detroit. I have one here in Atlanta. I'm just here to expand my brand because I feel like Shoe doctor is a need in every urban neighborhood across America, and that's my plan, because you gotta wake up and put two shoes on your feet every day. All right, Kenneth, I have to ask questions about your business model. Uh -huh. Can you tell me a little bit more about your margins? How much are you charging people to clean these shoes? Give me some understanding on how you're making money here. Okay, so the past five months, we grossed $85,000. I profited twenty-two to $25,000 every month. Okay. I know currently you're brick and mortar. How do you plan to expand? So, um, I didn't mention this either. I had the world's first smart locker where you could drop off your shoes inside the mall. Oh, no. So you could go up to this locker, put your phone number in, it's gonna send you a code to open up the locker door. It sends me a text message. Ooh, Kenneth, you smart. Crazy. Yeah. You real smart. Uh, no, I love it. You know, I'm a sneakerhead, so I'm, I'm already with it. I'm already with it. For real, for real. So tell us this. It's $200,000, right? We're talking real money here. So what are you going to do with it? I have no products for sale right now. I could push these products because everybody want to know what the shoe doctor using. What are you using? Mm -hmm. What are you using? Mm -hmm. I could be in every foot locker across America. I had the capital in there. All right, Kenneth, I'm going to tell you what I tell entrepreneurs. There's products and there's services. You don't want your products to undercut your services yeah. too soon. Your margins are not going to be the same there. So just be careful, OK? OK. Yeah, I can tell you're really passionate about what you do. It definitely comes across. And good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Shoe doctor, man. We appreciate you. Good luck. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate y'all having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. All right, y'all. We've got a real decision to make. Yeah. we got to get this down to one. Let's talk about WellCap. Okay. What I loved is the fact that they really did find an industry that was a little sleepy, a little tired, and they figured out a way to actually revive it that I haven't seen done before at this point. I felt like there was a bit of a disconnect. But I mean, what about Shoe Doctor? I mean, he got everybody hired. You are right. Shoe Doctor was strong. He seemed like he might make the most community impact. I think there was a lot missing from his pitch, to be honest. I don't know, maybe it was me. None of the other entrepreneurs had something that people could walk into, mm -hmm. but like people still Slightly. like to go to some stores. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. He is doing something different, and in that same respect, he doesn't have the other side. Yeah, and that's, that's my concern yeah. there yeah. as well, is like, how is he really gonna scale? I mean, but Austin yeah, had the strongest it. pitch. Like, the, yeah. I you mean, think? no doubt about that. He came in, he was confident. What do you think? Honestly, he didn't sell it. Like, I know he knows his business, but he really wasn't speaking to his product. I also think his product kind of spoke for itself, you know? Okay. This is tough. It's kind of, yeah. it's, yeah. 
uh, that yeah. we, can, <laughs> we can all agree. <laughs> Let's bring them back. Let's see what we got here. Let's do it. We're ready. All right, y'all, this was crazy tough. You know, you guys all did a great job. It was, it was incredible. But we have some favorites. The good news is everybody's going home with some money. <laughs> so that's the good news. But only one of you guys are gonna move forward at a chance to win $200,000. We all voted, it was extremely tough. It's so coming in third, still going home with five grand. Well capped. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank Great you. job. Great job. Thank we you. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you and good luck. Bye. Bye. Good luck. All right. We down to two. One of you guys are moving on. Second place is 10 grand. First place is $20,000 and you're going to move on for a chance at $200,000. All right. So in second place, we have Deeper. <laughs> awesome, congratulations, man. You're going home with 10 grand today. Congrats, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Shoot, doctor. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> $20,000 today, man. Congratulations. And you're moving on to the finale. Man, thank Congrats, you, man. man. I appreciate Congrats. you so much. How does it feel? How does man, it feel? it feel great because like I've been doing this 365. I done miss Christmas. I done miss my kids' birthday, cleaning shoes. To make it to Atlanta and be standing in front of y'all and moving to the next round, man, best right. thing that happened to me yet. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, man. Congratulations. You. you earned it, brother. Thank you. You Good earned it. Good thing, man. Absolutely. Good thing. I'm prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gonna go get it. Man, I'm excited because I never knew I would make it here. I started with nothing, and to make three businesses that's employing my whole family, that's the American dream. All right, so that'll do it for us tonight. But make sure you hit us up on Twitter at Revolt TV. And come back next week for another exciting episode of Bet on Black. See you next time. Yeah.